Uh, before we start, just want to, uh, you know, publicly acknowledge and thank uh, KP for all he's done for the organization. I'm calling him, although it was my first time calling somebody when they get traded, he was extremely gracious. Uh, you know, he was extremely thankful that I, you know, reached out to him and called, and, and he was he handled like a professional, which since my time being here, he's been nothing but a professional. Um, extremely uh, diligent worker, always in the gym, on days off, always working on his body. And for that, I, I thank him. Um, in terms of Spencer and Bertans, I think, I think both of them give us a lot of flexibility for the future and they add depth to our roster. So I'm excited to get them in here and get them in the rotation. Um, other than that, your questions? When did you start thinking that KP was a player that you were looking to move and what was the reasoning behind it? You know, I think it wasn't just about KP. It was about really giving ourselves the flexibility um, that we needed to be the team we want to be. And I think, I think that's really the bottom line, is like we were able to give ourselves more flexibility and then add more depth. Did you get out of this trade exactly what you wanted when you went into it? I think we made our, our team better, for sure. And, and we, we gave ourselves more flexibility. I mean. When you say, "Did I get everything we wanted?" You know, you, you always want to hit a home run, but but we definitely uh, we, we're better off um, today than we were yesterday. And the team was 16 and five going into the trade. Did that play into it in a way? Because KP missed 12 of those games. Yeah, I mean, I think the whole that that went into the whole um, trade deadline. You know, the way we were playing, you had to look at everything differently because, you know, from December on, we've been playing really good. Mm -hmm. So what you thought going into it versus what you have now, you had to reevaluate everything. Um, so yeah, definitely play the role. Okay. You go when you mentioned more flexibility, is that in terms of financial side more so, or is that in terms of rotation and having different options on the court? It's really both. It's flexibility both, but, but more importantly, it's depth too. You know, if you, look at, if you look at our depth in terms of like playmakers, you know, within that. Um, if you look at our depth in terms of three-point shooting, you know, with Timmy out, we're thin there. So it, it, it's, it works both ways. How much was KP's availability part of this, just whether you could count on him to be there when it mattered and who was? I think it was less about his availability and really more about how do we make the team better. Um, you know, because, listen, I think, I think if you look at KP's, they were knick-knack injuries. If it was a playoffs, he, he could have played. Um, so I don't, I don't think it, they were in, they were like, you know, stuff that during the season you might sit out, but in the playoffs you would play. So it's, I don't think they were concerning. How quickly or not quickly did this come together? I mean, was it a last minute deal that fell together or, or had it been in the works? Um, it wasn't, I mean, <laughs> this is my first trade deadline, so I don't really have anything to, to uh, compare it to. but. Listen, we had tons of conversations with a bunch of different teams, and this was the one that that made the most sense, and we we executed on it. And what what has made the most sense? What 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 about this trade did you? What factors did you decide made the most sense to go with this first hypothetical other deals? Well, it you know, like I said at the beginning, I think it's the versatility that it gave us in the depth um, and the flexibility. I just think it just. It just it worked. It made sense. What type of player is uh, Dinwiddie, and what type of player is Bertrand? I think in, in Dinwiddie you're going to get a, a score and a, and, a, and a ball handler. Um, and I think with Bertans you're going to get a professional that can really shoot the ball. Um, you know, one's more athletic than the other, but but you know even Bertans wa watching a lot of film on him, like defensively, he knows how to play defense. He knows positions where to be, he really works on that. Um, some, some people aren't going to have the quickest feet, but if you know how to play defense, if you, if you really try and you position yourself right, you're going to be a lot better. And he, he does a really good job of doing that. As far as Moses, he just wasn't there yet, quick enough for you guys? Yeah, it's, it's also a roster, roster spot. You only have so many roster spots. So when you trade one and you uh, bring back two, you gotta make, you got to make, uh, gotta make room. So. Um, and, and Moses, you know, unfortunately, um, thank you for bringing that up. Moses has been great. You know, that's why we guaranteed his contract. 
because Moses worked his butt off. Like literally, he would carry his notebook every day. And Coach Sweeney and those two worked every day. And if you guys know anything about Coach Sweeney, he lives in that in that uh, building back there. And so he would he would uh, work out Moses every day. Brought his notebook, watched film. He would watch film the games he didn't play um, of what coverages he was supposed to do if he did play. Um, and, he, and, you know, when he was playing in December when we had a lot of COVID, he started making a lot of progress. He just, he just needs to play. He's going to be fine. He's, a, he's an NBA player. He just needs more playing time. Nico, do you feel like you have all the pieces that match of all the pieces they need to make a deep playoff run? I, I think we're still, I think we're still, um, I think we're good enough to compete. I mean, I don't think we're scared of anybody. I think we're good enough to compete. It remains to be seen, but I also think that we also have room for improvement. Um, but but I do like the team. That was, was going to be my next question, too, is do you feel like this roster is set now, or is the buyout market something you're going to keep an eye on? No, I think with us, I think we're set, you know, just because, of, you know, if you look at our roster, roster availability spots are, are a premium. So I think we're set. Sounds like uh, Dorian is uh, 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 perhaps going to be signed long term. How, how much of a uh, uh, no brainer was that one? Because uh, obviously he's been very good at this organization. Yeah, he's been amazing. He has a beautiful spirit. Um, just being around him, he, he, he uplifts everybody. I, it, was, it was one of those, those phone calls. You, you have the bad phone calls where you got to you know, deliver bad news and then you, you get to. Uh, have a good one, and, and so we're we're excited about about the possibility of uh, of extending Dorian. He's he's deserves it. Um, it's great for him and his family. Um, uh, you know, it's 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 all good. How difficult was that phone call to KP? Because obviously he probably thought he had a long future here in Dallas. Yeah, it's always difficult. You know, when you deliver bad news. Um, it's, you know, in my, in my old world, you know, we went through a lot of reorganizations, so we had to let a lot of people go, so you have to make those phone calls. But in this case, um, I, I, don't, I don't think this is as difficult as that, uh, but it, it's always difficult. But like I said, he handled it like a professional. He was uh, extremely upbeat, like, he's, like he is every day when he comes to work. Um, he was totally professional. Have one on Zoom. Yep, got one on Zoom. Kevin, go ahead and now. Nico, when you look at this trade, why was this the right time to move for Zingas in light of what this team was building toward and why you felt that this was the right time to go ahead and make this move? Um, timing really just becomes about when it's available, you know. Um, the reason why it was the right time is because the trade just came together. Um, and I think we've had enough time to value, you know, one of the things I talked about with you all from the very beginning is really wanting to be around the team and know the team and being able to evaluate the team. And I think we had enough time <clears throat> to do that. So we know who we are as a team and what we need to do to get better. So I think, I think that all played a role into it. Uh, yeah, dude, we can go to questions right now. Lucas, Lucas question, he was great. <laughs> 51. He was, he was really good. I'm just joking. Go ahead. Just your overall uh, thoughts on the trade and what you guys got and what you guys gave up. Yeah, um, that's just part of the business. Um, KP was, you know, I talked to him um, this morning, this afternoon, and uh, he was great. He, again, he did everything uh, for us. Um, but it's just part of the business, you know, trades take place. Uh, he's going to do great in, in Washington. Um, and, you know, that's just, that's, that's what it is. It's just the business. What do you like about the two guys that you got in return? Uh, we got depth, um, playmaking, shooting. Um, those, uh, they're veterans. And so that's what, that's, uh, that's what I like about, you know, those two coming. How much of a concern was KP's availability from your standpoint as you're trying to build the continuity going toward the playoffs? Yeah, it's, it wasn't. There was nothing about this his availability. He did everything uh, when he could play. You know, that's just injuries, COVID. Um, you know, play a part in this league. Um, and, and when he played, he he played for us at a very high level this season. Um, 
defensively, change shots, did everything we asked him on the defensive end, and then um, we let him be a basketball player there on the offensive end, posting up, uh, shooting threes, playmaking. Um, he did everything we asked, and uh, you know, again, in this business, uh, people get traded, um, and, and you move on. In what ways do you see the team being different going forward with the two new guys and without? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question, Brad. We got to get some minutes under the belt, but I can tell you, um, tonight's team looked pretty good. Um, Luca was uh, was was aggressive from the start, um, and the guys uh, just went for the ride. Um, but again, I think late game being able to get stops, but someone's going to have to make a shot because they're not going to let Luca shoot it. And then I thought the guys did a good job there. When you had your press conference after getting hired, you talked about Porzingis being the perfect co-star for Luca. Obviously, things change, things evolve. Yeah. Do you think you guys need to? find a co-star for Luca eventually for this team to be able to compete for championships or can he be kind of the lone star with you know a, a solid supporting cast around and put you in that spot? Yeah, Tim, that's a good question. Um, I think talent, you always want talent um, to win championships and so um, we'll see. Uh, I'm just, I'm the coach who has to put them guys in a position to be successful. Um, get paid, find a way to win. Um, and so as we go through this journey, we'll see if, if we come across, a, a, you know, a number two guy. Um, it could be the team that we have with. There is no real second star. You just got guys who play roles at a very high level. Um, and you've seen teams win championships that way too. Was that 2011 team one of those teams with that one superstar? And yeah, you had one superstar and the rest were burgers. That's fine. We all accept that. We know our roles. We're burgers. <laughs> what were you thinking during that first quarter with Luca going off like that? <laughs> How things have changed. Um, because in the first half, I mean, in, in the early part of the season, we weren't making any shots, and, and then Luca decided to make them all. Uh, it was it was a, a really fun thing to watch. Didn't have to do much. Just try to stay out of the way. Um, and to be selfish, you wanted him to make those free throws so that he didn't miss any shots. Um, but he was he, it was incredible. Um, he's re again, we talked about this after every game of late. Is he's making all the right decisions. Um, and tonight was an offensive uh, night for him shooting the ball uh, because of the switching. Um, he, he did a great job. And then also finding his teammates. But um, it, I, I don't even know if the, our big burger did that in 2011. I, I don't know if he ever scored 50 points. Had 48 against OKC in the playoffs. Remember that? Oh, yeah, I'm a, somebody must have shot the ball so he couldn't get 50. Well, he got like 62 free throws in that game. So. <laughs> well, then, yeah, <laughs> no, no. I mean, well, that will take those forty-eight in the playoffs. But it was great. He, I, I thought he just read the defense and did everything he was supposed to do tonight. And uh, now we got to improve. As we all know, it's hard to beat a team two times in these uh, home and home games. Are you allowed to talk about your impending deal? Um, I mean, yeah. I'm excited. You know, excited to be here. Um, been here my whole career, so I kind of feel like uh, Dallas my second home. So, you know, I feel like it would need to be done. I'm just happy it's over for real. Shit. Once they put that number on the table, you know, I mean, honestly, you might have been able to get more in free agency. Was there any thought, or was it just once you got there, you were ready? Um, to I just wanted to get to a certain number with Dallas because I wanted to be here. You know, my family here, you know, my kids here, they love the school, so. I love it here, love the organization, so I'm just happy we got it done. Dory, talk about I've been a process. Undrafted. Uh -huh. Just how you how you've maintained all these years. Just work. Work. Never yeah. complain. Um I always figure it'll work out on my end. You know, it's bigger than me. You know, I'm from a small city. You know, I feel like they need to witness that. You know, I feel like everybody was, you know, with me through this journey. You know, like I said, a lot of people come, coming from where I come from don't 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 make it to this stage, and uh, I'm just happy to be a motivation to kids coming from where I'm from.
What are your thoughts on the trade, the KP trade? It's my dog gonna miss him. Um, it's part of the part of the game, so you know I know he's gonna be great wherever he at though. So that's all I got on KP. <laughs> what do you know about the two guys that's coming in? Um, I know Burton, he got a he got a flamethrower. And um, then when he, he, he crafted with the ball, but I don't personally know him, but I'm, uh, I'm excited to meet him. Okay, how did you kind of follow along with the boost today? You did it all knowing that your name had kind of been circulated and, and known they made um, I was trying to take a nap, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I was scared that I'd wake up, I might be somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I just, you know, try to, you know, continue my day, you know, as a normal day without, you know, without all the, the outside noise and distraction. But, um, you know, once I got the news, you know, I was excited and I couldn't wait to play for real, for real. When did they, how long have you been discussing that extension and, and when was the offer actually extended? Um, just through the whole um, trading deadline, um, just negotiating the whole time and, you know, once I got the number, it was a done deal. I think Dallas knew that too. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you've heard that there's a lot of teams that wanted to trade for you and you're a man in demand. To go from undrafted to hearing that, I'm sure your agent's been telling you, hey, if you are a free agent, you will have a lot of interest. What is that like? Um, it feels good, you know, especially, you know, you know the, the, the league, they see the hard work, you know, um, that feels good, you know. Um, just seeing, like, you know, guys like Reggie Miller and them saying, you know, keep, keep working, you know, it feels good, you know. Yeah. I'm just excited for real, you know, my mama. My mom was excited, you know. You know, my mama worked at, at churches my first three years in the NBA. You know, she's not trying to make it quit, you know, so I'm just happy, you know, she can finally really kick up her feet and chill. Okay, I'm one on the zip. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, just real quick, uh, by the way, I was trying to take a nap today, too. But uh, <laughs> you probably succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, sure. What was it like watching Luca kind of light it up there at the beginning and uh, seeing, seeing him smile through that whole thing? Man, just keep giving him the ball, really. That's what I was trying to do. Whatever he, you know, they, they switched and they kept putting their five men on him. So, it's like, keep going until they, until they trap. You know, they, they kind of, you know, got us at the end of the game because, you know, it was hard to stay in the game when you got one player not missing, so we got to find ways to stay, you know, stay in the game, knowing we're not getting shots, and that's that's tough to do. But uh, I'm just happy we got the win. Uh, we got one on Zoom. Landon, go ahead. Hey, Dorian, congrats. Um, what, what would you like to say to the fans who have supported you in your journey from being undrafted and fighting for a roster spot to uh -huh. now being a starter and one of the most pivotal guys on the team? Um, I say thank you, I guess, for all the support, and uh, we ain't done yet. And, um, and I'm not gonna stop working either. So appreciate it. How'd you feel in the first quarter? <laughs> Great, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> that's it. That's the work. Did that basket just look like an ocean the way you were throwing it in that tonight? I mean, all the shots felt good, you know. Even those, I missed two or three. Uh, even those felt great, you know. Uh, they were switching, so. They didn't want me to create, so I had to go to work. Are you aware as the game goes on how many points you have or where you're at, or is, it, is that something you keep track of? I mean, yeah, you can see it upstairs. I mean, <laughs> on the rear, but in the first quarter, I was like, whoa, I have, when I finish, I have, I have 28. I was like, what? Well, I didn't even know I had 28. Did you know what the franchise record is? No. It's 53, so. Uh. You, you dribbled it out instead of taking a shot at Coach Rucker. Nah, that's fine. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 you, don't, you don't shoot that shot. It's disrespectful. Uh, you've, I believe that's the 17th time you've scored 40 or more points, and seven of those have been against the Clippers. Um, what are you doing Do you have something against the Clippers? <laughs> no. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I just felt great the first quarter, obviously, you know. Everything was going in, so when you feel like that, you know, you just you just don't want to be stopped and keep going. When was the last time you scored 50 points in a game? Never, I think. Have you had any when you were a kid? I can't remember. The timing, the timing. I don't know.
I don't, I don't think so. Maybe when I was a, like a little kid, but you know, they didn't have statistics. <laughs> Real Madrid never. No, 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 not even close. Your, your timing wasn't that great, though. It was kind of a big day in the league. You know, it would have had a bigger headline. But what do you think of the trade for the Mavericks? I mean, yeah, you know, obviously we're going to miss KP, you know. Uh, we're building something great here, but uh, it didn't obviously work out. Uh, I wish him the best. Uh, and, you know, we got two new guys. They're welcome. Uh, Barton is a great shooter. Divinity can put a, uh, the ball on the floor and he can score. So, you know, NBA is a business. How do you reflect on your time with KP? Did you all not quite do what you thought you might do when you first got here? I mean, you know, he went through a lot, you know, uh, with the injuries, you know. Uh, I think this year he was way better, uh, you know. But like I'm saying, you know, NBA is a business, and, you know, I wish him all the best in his future. You know, you look at the, the contenders in the league, and there's, you know, two all-stars, three all-stars on those teams. Do you feel like you need kind of a, a co-star, or, you know, can you have just a, a really strong supporting cast of, of guys around you, you know, to put this team in position and contend. I mean, I don't know. I think you can you can ask Nico, you know. Uh, but I trust them, you know. Uh, they see they see the uh, the basketball, like GM spot. Mark is the president, so I trust them, you know. Whatever move they make, uh, I think I have great teammates. You know, uh, a lot of people can do a lot of stuff, and I'm really good now, you know. And I think we're playing great basketball. Are you gonna miss KP as a teammate? Yeah, obviously, you know, like I say, you know, uh, we had some great time here, you know, uh, obviously those two playoff when we didn't make out of first round, you know, we're a little disappointment, but you know, uh, it was a great time here, and like I say, you know, wishing the best. Your eyes seem to uh, light up when you see Zubak on that pick and roll. What is it about that when you, you're always trying to get him on that, on that pick and roll matchup with you one on one? Uh, I don't know. It's not him, you know. He just when a big switches on you, you know. Uh, you're just trying to. You're faster than him. Uh, you got the moves, and he's trying to score the basketball. You, you haven't had a chance to play with the new guys, but you you know, played against them. But what do you think of the roster as constructed? Adding those two guys, do you feel like you've got a chance to you know to do well in the playoffs? Advance a couple rounds. I always think that we had a good chance. I thought that the last two playoff, you know, like I said, it didn't work out. Uh, but like I said, you know, uh, Berlin, I think he's an amazing shooter, and uh, the Emily can help us, you know, score the ball, handle the ball, and you know, I always think we can do something. Luke, uh, Dorian was just in here talking about his extension that he's about to sign, and I know you two have a good relationship, so. What do you think about the prospect of him being here long term and being one of those pieces that's going to be built around you? Oh, he deserved that for sure, you know. Even even more, you know. He worked his head. He worked hard. <laughs> uh, and, you know, but really, he deserves, you know, he's the guy that really, really deserves this. Like I say, if not, that even more. And I'm, I'm really happy for him. Uh, I know you don't like to be the GM. You just want to play the game. But... Uh, how important do you think it is for, for Brunson to be part of this thing long term? I mean, yeah, you can see how he's playing, you know. Uh, he's playing out of his mind, you know. He, he's playing amazing. So, you know, obviously he's going to have uh, a lot of offers, I think, from 30 teams. So he's going to be, he's gonna, he's gonna be uh, well paid and, again, he deserves it. How much does Nico keep you involved in moves that they're talking about or might be making? And how much do you want to be involved? I mean... I want to be involved a little bit, obviously, uh, but you know, not too much. My job is to win games, play games, and and that I leave to them. You know, he he did call me today, uh, but I was taking a nap, so <laughs> it was fun. Where, where were you when you first heard the news about KP? What was your immediate uh, reaction? I woke up from my nap. Woke up from your nap. And was it like wow? Or yeah, it was it was uh, shocking. You know, uh, I didn't expect it. Uh, it was a little bit shocking. So I didn't know, how, but I was still like a little bit sleepy. You, took, you drink coffee and then you, you still took a nap after? Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, I can't do that. Too much caffeine. No, for the game. For the game, I think. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha.